What unites us can also be what divides us. You have never been not proud to be an American. Pride in being a real American. I am tired, 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 tired of the implications about patriotism. Michelle Obama hit that nerve. For the first time in my adult lifetime, I'm really proud of my country. Governor Sarah Palin did too, describing Greensboro, North Carolina this way at a private fundraiser. These uh, wonderful little pockets of what I call real American. Yvonne Johnson resented it. So this is my fighting piece right here. And so I think it's one of the most divisive things we can do. Johnson knows division. During Greensboro's desegregation, she was a foot soldier in the movement. An Obama supporter, she's now the first black mayor in city history. We do all love America, so all of America is real America. This year is Greensboro's bicentennial, originally a frontier town that was as real America in its day as the city of a quarter million people is today, and rich in American unpredictability. Hi. Akir Khan is a first-generation American, the son of Southeast Asian immigrants. I think it's important to be patriotic, but at the same time, you can't question someone being American or not American. A Muslim American and a McCain supporter. Everyone is different in America. Everyone has their own story. D.H. Griffin certainly does. Tell me, how, how small was it at the beginning? Well, it started with one man in the truck. His salvage and demolition companies now employ more than 1,000 people. This Republican sees himself as a real American, one of many. Everybody that works here is. No matter what they vote. That's right. No matter that's who they're voting for in Tuesday. That's right. The real America, not red state or blue state, but in all the colors of this country. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Greensboro, North Carolina.